Welcome back guys. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the Stripe Payment Gateway Integration demo and the process of creating and generating the keys. So I hope you have created the keys. The first one is publishable key and the second one is secret key. So in this lecture, we have to work with only front end that means publishable key. So copy this publishable key and paste it to your notepad because we are going to use that in the react side. So first to to write all these things in the front end we have an npm module called as the react stripe checkout so just type react stripe checkout so with the help of this npm module we can easily integrate the stripe payment gateway integration so we have more than five types of ways to integrate stripe in our application but these are uh, these module uh, will make everything easy for us because already all the uh, stripe documentation is predefined in this stripe checkout react stripe checkout so copy this react stripe checkout npm and install in our front end that means react paste it press enter so this booking screen here we need to work install so still then i will show the documentation so it's very simple so here react stripe checkout is nothing but a component in which we have only one button and when we click on that button that it will generate a token and that token we need to send it to the backend so this is the only thing and the token contains all the information that we enter in the alert pop-up so this is the thing that we have to do and in this stripe checkout we have to pass the parameter of called as the stripe key which is the publishable key this key as i said in the front end we have to paste one key right so that key you have to pass in the props of the stripe checkout so these two are mandatory if you pass this key only the front end will understand that this account is yours like that here you can see the npm package has been installed successfully now i am going to press npm start it will restart the application so this is how the uh, front end works you just need to uh, create the stripe checkout component so it will give one button after clicking on that button it will generate one token here this dot on token is one function here you can see this is the function so this on token function will receive the parameter token directly here you can see they are sending the uh, token to one root so this is their root so we are going to send this token to the book room route in the back end so here you can see they are sending the body json dot stringify token so in our application we have to send along with our booking details that means room name check-in date checkout date all those things it's still restarting so compared to uh, back-end integration front-end integration of stripe is very easy so in the back-end we have to sign uh, write some logic so we have to destructure out all these token details everything like that here we go the application has restarted now i am going to import that component so just copy the statement and paste it in the booking screen compiling now copy the code here you can see this is the code and so here you have to paste it so below the button i am going to paste later i will edit so you have to use the only stripe button you cannot use your own button to integrate stripe so paste it here control s mm, let's refresh the page so i'm going to select some date 24 to 26 all are eligible so i think we may get the error here you can see here on token is a callback function for stripe so that's the reason it is throwing the error so on token on token function is not implemented i am going to implement here function on token it is going to take the token and i am going to print the token in the console clg token so here the token is nothing but it is an object which contains the values all we entering in the stripe payment gateway pop-up refresh the page this time it should work again it is throwing the error 
on token is undefined already we have implemented sorry not this dot on token it is just on token because it is a functional component in functional component we do not use this token this keyword yeah here you can see pay with card so leave about the styling we can edit it so if you click on this pay with card you will get one alert pop up now i will click on it here you can see i got the alert pop up so it is a stripe payment gateway pop up let's enter some details so i am going to enter my details create gmail.com and i will enter the card number and one two two three cvv is equal to one two three so here i am not using shipping details because this is not it is not an e-commerce application we can avoid the shipping details so we have to take only email card number and these uh, expiry date cvv etc pay invalid key provided so here we haven't provided the uh, official key so it is the key which is given by the direct npm package so remove this it's just a string and copy our key so i am going to copy my key so this is my key copied and paste it here now it should work pay with card i am going to enter the email the rate gmail.com card number all four twos and 1223 and 123 i'll open console because after clicking on the pay now button the on on token function will execute so you have to understand what's happening in that on token function click on pay now uh, again it is showing some error invalid api key provided so uh, something error we are getting already we have given the valid key only so i think we need to refresh the page after adding the stripe key there's a reason it is throwing an error repeatedly let's refresh the page once now open the console yeah now i will enter the details here i am going to write the card number so this is the test key card number for stripe all 4242 123 and here also 123 now this time it should work pay here you can see it is loading and after loading here you can see we got the token object so this is the token object that we have to send to the backend so in this token object as i said the details what we are entering all the details will be present here you can see this is the card number and this is the client this is the email that we have used and one of the main important thing that the backend requires is this token id so here you can see tok and uh, the followed by 1j3 all those things so this is the token object and entire the object should be sent to the backend so in the backend we have to validate it so this is the process and some more parameters we have to add to these stripe checkout is currency so to which current in which currency you want to take the payment so currency is equal to i am going to write inr and the amount total amount how much you want to charge from the customer so now i'm going to write total amount it's not total amount it's just amount i think yeah amount so here amount is equal to already at the top we are having the total amount object total amount into 100 because it will take the uh, total amount in the form of cents so that's the reason you have to pass 100 then only it will be correct amount now let's see so in the alert pop-up it will show the amount also pay with card so sometimes if you open the mobile view it will show the window like this so it is not a bug it is their functionality gmail.com and all four twos 12 23 and here one two three now click on pay here you can see it is showing 5400 rupees so this is called as the amount so after passing the request here you can see total amount is equal to 5400 only 
so we got the object now we are left with only one thing so we have to apply the uh, payment gateway handler for this pay now button not with this pay card so just very simple add this button here sorry yeah so in between the stripe checkout you can add the button and remove this on click that's it now let's see uh, we have two pay now buttons you can remove the first one yeah uh, let's see so if you click on this pay now button now we should get the pop-up here you can see we are getting the pop-up so now we have to write that uh, api logic in this uh, on token only because it will perform the first stripe payment token then if the token is success it will send the token along with our booking details to the back end so this is the on token function right and here uh, where is our logic book room so you just need to copy this yeah try catch right copy and paste it in the on token now you can remove this book room function and add the async keyword for this uh, on token so first it will send the it will generate the token then it will get the uh, it will send all the details so along with the booking details i am going to send the token so you can send it in the object or you can directly send the token here already we have booking details object right so in this add the direct token that's it so for the back end it will receive all these details along with the token and in the next lecture we are going to complete the back end process thank you